Hey, what's up folks? My name is Gora and today we'll be talking about dual return pump setups. I've been in a hobby for quite some time now and I never had a return pump failing me actually. But that doesn't mean it won't happen anytime soon. You can tell yourself, hey, I have an extra return pump on hand. If something happens, I can always swap it out and call it a day. But even though if you're home all the time, you're gonna go on a holiday, you're gonna go on longer dinners, you're gonna go watch your kids do sports. Most of the time it's gonna cost you the same or just a little bit more if you're gonna go with two smaller pumps rather than one big pump's gonna do all the heavy lifting for you. So I encourage you big time to have that dual return pump setup. These days everyone has DC return pumps and I do prefer those. But if you don't have your tank in your bedroom or somewhere where you spend lots of time, like for instance in your basement, maybe a better option will be to go with AC pumps, the pumps that people had in this hobby for a long time and that we know they're very reliable pumps. If you're the ones who are gonna go to the side and get that AC return pump, I suggest for you to get the silicone pad and plumb that pump with some of the softer tubing, but make sure to do your research and get the tubing that's more rigid and make sure to get the plastic clamps so you can secure it good. I've seen lots of folks using zip ties, but honestly, zip ties won't do us a credit of the job in this case, so zip ties are made for other things and make sure to get those plastic clamps. They'll do way better of a job and secure it than the return pump to your plumbing. DC pumps have been out there for quite some time now, and now Hobby is kind of getting a hang of it, which pumps are better than the others. I do like quite a few brands. I had Teacher Brand for quite some time. I never had issues with those, but I know if you're just starting in a hobby, you might look in certain pieces of equipment to be a little bit more pricier than others. And just because of that reason, I've seen lots of beginners get a cheaper pump off of Amazon, like for instance, Chebao pump is. Usually return pumps are last piece of equipment that we're actually clean as a hobbyist. Since all the other equipment, we can kind of see when it's dirty and clean it, but the return pump, we cannot really see when it's dirty so we know when to clean it. So most of the hobbyists will pull them out and they'll clean them like around twice a year or so. And especially if you're dosing Kalkwasser or if you're doing anything else which is gonna make your equipment degrade over time, it'll be nice for you to clean them even more often than that. So let's say you decided to get a dual return pump setup Make sure to get check valves for both of these pumps since if one fails, it's gonna shoot all that water back inside your tank and it won't work properly. If you put check valves in both of your return pumps, you're gonna make sure the other return pump is doing its job and sending all that water back into your tanks. And I do understand that all the plumbing side will be a little bit more harder to do than if you're just setting up for one pump, but afterwards you'll sleep way better knowing that all the equipment that you have in your phone be working properly if one pump fails. And trust me, I don't wanna even put them a paper how much money is spent on coils and all my equipment and me having the setup is going to be extra of insurance that everything's going to do well if you guys have any questions feel free to drop in the comments down below if you guys haven't checked out my last video where i put all my Kripura episodes in one video go and check it out with all that out of the way see you guys in the next video peace